When you think about electric cars, most people today will have Tesla on the brain because Elon's everywhere. Or maybe the Chevy Bolt and Nissan Leaf. But the EV space is about to get a little more crowded with Audi, Porsche, and a slew of startups preparing entries of their own. And then there's this guy. The 2019 I-Pace crossover built by a company best known for its sports cars and sedans, Jaguar. Like a proper Jag, the I-Pace has a clean and attractive shape for a crossover with a low hood, slick roofline, and squared off rear that contributes to its slippery 0.29 coefficient of drag. Also helping is a grill that directs air through the hood scoop and over the I-Pace, door handles that suck in flush with the body, and air suspension that lowers ride height by nearly half an inch at above 65 miles per hour. The aero work, of course, is to help give the I-Pace the longest driving range possible, which Jaguar claims is up to 240 miles per charge from its two electric motors, one of which is in the front and the other in the back, making 394 horsepower and 512 pound-feet of torque and its 90 kilowatt-hour battery pack. With instant torque rocketing away from stops in this all-wheel drive crossover is quite an experience with a 60 mile per hour time of 4.5 seconds. It also merges on the expressway and pulls off passes in rapid fashion. On half a charge, I covered roughly 80 miles, which isn't very close to being on pace of doing 240 miles on a fully charged battery. But full disclosure, I wasn't in eco mode, nor was I practicing my hypermodeling skills. Charging a completely dead eye pace to 80% using a 100 kilowatt charger takes about 40 minutes or roughly half as quick as your average Tesla at a supercharger. At home using a level two to get to 80% takes a little over 10 hours. So charge times aren't so impressive, nor is its 4,800 pound curb weight that makes this cat, well, rather fat that also doesn't help from a dynamic standpoint. With the battery pack in the floor giving a low center of gravity and things like an air suspension, adaptive dampeners, and 20 inch wheels help it cope well with the weight to behave like a Jaguar. No question, you feel the weight shifting around under acceleration, braking, and when turning in for a corner, but when you have the car in dynamic mode, once it takes a set, it hangs on fairly well. Steering is responsive with some heft tuned into it, and it quickly changes direction to honestly be a fun car to drive when combined with the right now acceleration. And for normal driving, punching up comfort mode lightens up steering and smooths out the ride some. But as for issues, the regen brakes under light braking takes some getting used to with its semi-abrupt engagement, and the 20-inch Goodyears transmit loud thuds into the cabin over bumps. The cabin itself is airy and comfortable with a panoramic roof, suede headliner, serviceable room front and back, supportive seats, and finished with a good looking wood trim in this first edition model. It's also practical with 25.3 cubic feet of cargo space behind the rear seats, which grows to 51 cubic feet with them folded. Oh, and there's also a tiny frunk, which can carry a half empty backpack. An infotainment is upgraded with a Touch Pro Duo system that features a 10 inch upper touchscreen and a 5.5 inch lower to control a navigation system that takes into account terrain and power requirements when calculating routes, Meridian sound system, Wi Fi hotspot, and it will be Apple CarPlay and Android Auto capable at launch. Sadly, Touch Pro is laggy to respond to commands and takes a good second to switch between its many different menus. But for a detailed look at Touch Pro and all the other technology features in the iPace, check out our separate Tech Check video. For a first crack at building an electric vehicle, I have to give Jaguar major props for coming to market with something stylish, practical, and fun to wheel around. Of course, charge times and cabin tech still need some tinkering, but it's been a good and enjoyable week with this iPace overall. If this electric cat has piqued your interest, which it definitely should if you're on the market for an EV, it'll start at $70,495 when it arrives in dealers. But if you want this special first edition model that has all the bells and whistles, it'll cost you $86,800. 195 bucks. For more review videos like this, check out our channel and while you're there, make sure to mash that subscribe button.